Well, Sean, um, what from your study of the Cape Town 12 elite athletes emerged as the most important part of running the form? Well, there are a few things, Lisa. We looked at, we looked at four different criteria. Um, a lot of what we've been talking about in the last few years, a lot of the sort of the scientific studies that have basically come out have, have been talking a lot about overstriding, where the foot is landing. Um, and where the foot is landing is a bit of a broad term because you always have to relate it to what you're comparing it to. And what we tend to compare it to, and if, at least if I can just ask you to stand to the side of the USBC, um, if you could put this foot forward for me, what we often talk about when we talk about overstriding is we're looking at the angle that we make, obviously with bearing in mind a vertical line going through the hip in the center of gravity, we're looking at where that line of the hip goes in relation to where it hits the ground, where you actually strike in the ground. Okay, and that is generally the angle we're normally talking about. But what I find is actually, and I've, and I've been coaching more sort of knee to, knee to heel over the last sort of last few months, and this is what's come out in the study, is that that tends to be the more important angle that we should be looking at. Is not the angle vertical through the hip and to contact point, but actually the line vertical through the knee to contact point. And the reason for that is that when your knee is directly over your heel in that position there, you severely reduce the risk of incurring injuries because you've suddenly got a shock absorber in the knee that's active where over here you've nullified that shock absorber and what you've also got you've got a situation where you've moved more weight over the landing foot so suddenly there isn't going to be as much shock running through the body it's not going to be as much shock going into the hip which is where a lot of our problems sort of originate and we found that with the elite athletes is that we're finding a lot of them are a lot better in terms of knee to ankle and a lot of them are actually breaking the rules. In fact, almost all of them are breaking the rules with hip to heel. So that shows that maybe hip to heel is not the most important thing we should be looking at because it seems like they're doing more of the knee to heel and that's what makes a lot of sense to us as well. Because as a recreational runner, it is extremely difficult with the lifestyles we lead to expect everyone to be able to get their foot right under the body in line with that center of gravity just because the hip position is generally just locked from the lifestyle choices that, that, that we you know succumb to. Um, so we find ourselves looking a lot more at knee to ankle. That's definitely a lot more important one to look at, a lot more realistic and you're reducing a lot of your injury risks um, by looking at that angle as well. And why is foot strike so important for women's Okay, so it's pretty much exactly for that reason. If you're landing out in front of your body, you've obviously generally got to overcome the force of your, of your foot hitting the ground. Now, when you hit the ground at an angle which is obviously slightly forward because you've landed in front of your body, Newton said that you're always going to have an equal opposite force that, uh, that's going to, obviously the reacting force, which is going to then be in the direction, obviously counteracting the direction you're running. So that force is going to be backwards, which means you're going to constantly have the situation where you're being slowed down and you get onto toe and you have to speed up which means that your 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 speed graph will generally look like that and what we want is a more uniform sort of speed so we want, we want to be able to maintain our momentum and run consistently that's the most efficient way for us to run and we won't get as tired and fatigued towards the race and and from a practical point of view what can runners do to Im improve um, the, the angle of the, the foot strike um, can you, can you, for example, show me a couple of drills? I certainly can. I, can do. I certainly <laughs> can. 